And uh, I'm going to turn the next part of it over to uh, um, Leopold uh, Raylinch to talk about the uh, next phase. So, so before we, we go to the next uh, phase, yeah. I want to uh, thoroughly articulate what the expectation is and what is it that we're going to be getting out of uh, doing all of this. Right now, you're aware that we're in the process of trying to do reorganization of the IT department such that we are able to bring in uh, enough employees in-house as opposed to having consultants uh, all over the place. This is part of the discussion that the administration is uh, uh, putting forward. IT, as you know it today, has no enough space to be able to accommodate, say, another 10 employees. So therefore, the uh, short-term strategic planning is that more space will be needed from the warehouse, existing warehouse space to be able to expand IT. Uh, then, the issue there is that what happens to the warehouse? If we were to do that, the warehouse, we have a new uh, building in the area where we have the Butler building right now that is going to be the new warehouse uh, in the interim. Then, as, you, as was clearly indicated by Michael, the existing record and admission office will be turned down, and the police or sheriff office will be uh, located there such that they will be able to provide security up front for the campus. Then the educational services department, which incorporates the current ed educational uh, services space that we have, along with the area that is close to legal that is being used by that department, A&R, and any other program that you might have in the portable building at Lenny College will all be incorporated into the new two-story building that will be located in front of this building uh, as the gateway to this uh, area. Then what that is going to do will be free up more parking space area uh, for, for the district such that when all of this is done, the area that is currently being occupied by educational services will be used for training room, for various type of training that is needed to be done, like strategic planning, the SP pack, and all the other trainings that we do. The district administrative center where we are right now is not very conducive for training. And if you wanted to be able to have, uh, say, computer laptops, uh, like in sort of class format, this room does not lend itself to be able to do that. So we are going to create some more training room in the area where we have educational uh, services right now for the future. So, and also both legal and other departments will be able to have more areas to be able to work with. All of this is... Uh, say within the next five years, we are articulating that we'll be able to accomplish that, uh, other things being equal. Then for the long-term strategic uh, uh, planning, I'm going to uh, defer to WLZ to do that, but there are some questions that, uh, yeah. that is coming from us. Question on the short-term plan first, that probably before we jump into the long-term. Yes, Sheriff. Oh, they go away. Oh, we have to do two international modular units. That will be gone. The international uh, global education is part of the uh, educational services department. They'll move to the new, new facility in the front. So they'll move to the new facility in the front. Yes. Yes. I'm concerned about the warehouse. The warehouse is a little bit loaded off, and it's going to have to accommodate a good eight foot long trailer to be able to back in. point. Okay. okay, thanks. So when we, when we do, do the areas uh, where we currently have the Butler building, a looping dock will be created there and sufficient space to house what we currently uh, use it uh, for the warehouse space. Recall that all the districts uh, will be getting their supplies directly from the vendor. It doesn't need to come into the warehouse anymore as soon as the schools are trained to meet the just-in-time process. So the only items that we will keep in the warehouse will be essentials like uh, janitorial supplies and uh, uh, truckloads of uh, paper rings, of which if we buy them in bulk, there's economy of scale, and we'll be able to save by doing that. Those type of essential items that we 
bring in-house and redistribute to the campuses will still be kept in the warehouse. But your point is well taken. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 On the long haul, we are planning to leave this space. If leave this place, it might be available for development, future development. We'll, we'll move across the uh, estuary to the other side. Yes. 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 have a five-year plan that has been defined for the colleges, they're going to take a priority. They're going to take priority over the district office. And uh, the district office uh, funding, we are looking more of uh, 2012, uh, 13, uh, to be able to institute another bond program that will truly address the need that we're talking about now. Yes? Uh, no, no. The boardroom, we've spent quite a bit of resource here, and uh, we believe this is sufficient for us to be able to operate uh, on the, in the next five years. However, when we do move over across the estuary and this building has to come down, there will be a new boardroom across the estuary. No, no. For the, for the permanent space, that is the next presentation that they're going to be talking about. Although, in our opinion, we would make some minor modifications to the board room. Yes. Some improvements. Is there a consideration to look into the soil conditions for growing a two story building? Oh, yes. Yes, we, we it, do. Yeah, we, we realize you've got, so you had some like 70 or 80 foot uh, piles you have to put in to put in the uh, art building of the, at the other end. So we realize that there are some issues regarding the, um, the foundation systems. We, we've done soil sample tests that was done for the district by Fogro. West and we know what the soil conditions and the, uh, the, the situation is uh, all at around the channel between Lenny College and the district. And also we're looking at liquefaction situation you know, when you do that. So all of that is to be taken into consideration. Yes? The, the space across the estuary, is it must be grassy? Are you going to wait? That would be the next presentation. Yes? Yeah, so I have a question about that too. But Over on, so over on the right there, you mean? Yeah. Presumably that's the right there it is. Well, no, I'm, I mean where oh. we are now. The two-story building off front, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, yes. Presumably that's going to cost several million dollars. Mm. Yeah, a couple. Uh, yeah, one or two. Never mind. And then we're going to tear all that down and move across the street. Well, that's because, and, and maybe that's a good, do you have any questions on the existing? Uh, that, that's a good segue into the next yeah, level. Be because the next level, the next level is not something that we, you know, you're going to do. See, this next phase is something that is proposed, and there are a lot of caveats there. Number one of which is it's going to re really require some public-private partnerships for that to work, which are going to take some time and efforts to make happen. So the realities are, it's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of time for that next phase. So although we say it's a five-year, this this phase may carry you for the next 10, 15 years. Depending on, depend on how aggressive the administration is about moving this next piece of work forward. Well, thanks for the point. Yeah. 